Today we picked up the Mini Ant Smart TV. It's a very cool Android TV device because it has a main feature standing out and 2 megapixel camera for Skype and other apps using the camera feature. It's really nice to see that some developers still have new ideas about how to make Android TV sticks more interesting and more useful. Think about it. How many sticks do you see on the market not featuring something so obvious useful like the camera of the Mini and Smart TV? The most sticks have one thing in common, the specifications. And let's be honest. That's boring. But boring isn't a word I would use to describe the Mini and Smart TV. That said, let's have a look around the device. In the front we have LEDs for power and wireless LAN. Next to the 2 megapixel camera there's the microphone. On the back of the device we have the microSD card slot, two USB ports, an HDMI port, the Ethernet connector, AV port and the on and off switch. The Mini and Smart TV features a rock chip RK366 dual-core processor including a Mali T624, 1GB of RAM and 8GB of ROM. That's a lot of tech to play with, so let's think about reason 1 to get a Mini and Smart TV. You can use the Smart TV as a gaming console. Due to its fast processor, it's able to play modern games like GTA, Gangsters or Asphalt. Gameloft, EA and other publishers bring new games to the market every day, challenging not only your smartphone but those Android TV boxes too. In addition to that, most smartphone displays are very small unless you own a Pathlet. With a Mini and Smart TV you can play top modern games like Simpsons Stepped Out on your local TV or Beamer. Android games aren't limited to mobile devices anymore. If you saw the news, a gaming console called Ouya hit the market a few weeks ago. It's only a matter of time until more and more console-like games will be released to Android. But you also won't need other gaming devices anymore. A new emulator for Nintendo DS was released on Google Play two months ago, letting you play your favorite and already bought Nintendo DS games mostly at full speed. One major downside on this emulator is the very high battery drain causing you to lose about 20% per hour. Guess what you don't have to worry about if you're playing with the Mini and Smart TV and just think about it, your favorite Nintendo DS game on a really big screen. You can play your games with a controller or a normal USB input device. Let the games begin. The next good reason to buy an Android TV box is you can spare a media player using the Mini and Smart TV as one. Many people use Android TV boxes for watching Netflix, YouTube or movies from Google Play. No matter what quality your source file is, the Rocketship RK366 can play them all. If you're running out of space because you bought so many movies on Google Play, you can plug in a hard drive or a USB drive. That way you have plenty of space to download even more games from Google Play or movies or your favorite television series. Let the movies begin. We all know the feeling of sharing one PC at home. I myself had to fight for using the PC for ages because even today a Windows PC costs at least 150 to 200 bucks if you really want to do something with it. So here's our third reason for the Mini and Smart TV, the second home, family or home office PC. You easily can use it as a home office PC powered by Android. As mentioned before it can play YouTube and you can use programs like Microsoft Office Suite released on 1st August 2013 for Android. And of course number 4. The Mini and Smart TV comes with a webcam included which makes it easy to Skype to your beloved family members or friends. You can easily set up Skype and don't have to worry if you already purchased a webcam that fits Android. Many of them won't work or just in VGA mode. Since the camera is built in the device and we have a fully compatible ROM installed, you don't have to worry about those will it fit worries. With a Mini and Smart TV as an Android home media PC, you would need 98 bucks for the device itself, around 20 bucks for the USB input device and a screen featuring HDMI or AV. Another reason for an Android featured office PC is the power management. The Rockchip RK366 is designed for tablets, so it's needless to say that they are designed to be power saving. That's why the Mini and Smart TV is the perfect Android home PC. If you have the feeling we left you with some questions, feel free to comment. For more videos from Nerdbench, subscribe to us here on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. If you liked our video, give us a thumbs up. My name is Norm Schupanski and I'm with Nerdbench.